Alexander Fleming discovered that penicillium mold stopped the growth of staphylococci, leading to penicillin, the first antibiotic. Penicillin had strong antibacterial effects and was safe to use. In 1935, a major advance in treating bacterial infections occurred. Before this, antiseptics were only used on the skin and could not treat internal infections. The dye protocil was found to protect mice and cure patients with streptococcal infections. Protocil breaks down in the body to release sulfanilamide, which is the first effective sulfur drug. Recently, new antibiotics have been developed more slowly, but new types like ketolates and glycylcyclines have been introduced. However, bacteria have become more resistant to many drugs. This means antibiotics are not a perfect solution for all infections. Doctors must use their experience to choose the right treatment and adjust according to the lab test. The main component of most bacterial cell walls is the peptidoglycan layer. It is made up of chains of disaccharide residues of N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid. These chains, they are cross-linked by peptide bridges and forming a rigid mesh around the bacteria. The assembly of these chains and cross-links is facilitated by enzymes such as transpeptidases, transglycosylases and carboxypeptidases, which are serine proteases, also known as penicillin binding proteins, in short PBPs. PBPs are the target of beta-lactam antibiotics. When these antibiotics bind to PBPs, they inhibit the formation of peptidoglycan chains, activating autolysins that degrade the cell wall and lead to bacterial death. Therefore, beta-lactam antibiotics, they are known to be bacteriocidal. The disruption of bacterial cell walls is a crucial mechanism employed by various antibiotics. Penicillins, cephalosporins, cefamycins, carbapenems, and monobactams are all beta-lactam antibiotics that bind to penicillin-binding proteins and enzymes responsible for peptidoglycan synthesis, therefore inhibiting the cell wall construction. Vancomycin disrupt cell wall integrity by inhibiting the cross-linkage of peptidoglycan layers. Daptomycin causes depolymerization of the bacterial cytoplasmic membranes, leading to the disruption of ionic concentration gradients and ultimately causing the cell death. Bacitracin interferes with the bacterial cytoplasmic membrane and the movement of peptidoglycan precursors, while polymyxin target and inhibit bacterial membranes directly. Additionally, antibiotics like Isonia Z and ethionamide inhibit the synthesis of mycolic acid which is a key component of cell wall in mycobacteria. Ethambutol obstruct arabinogalactin synthesis, which is an essential component of the mycobacterial cell wall. Finally, cycloserine prevents the cross-linkage of peptidoglycan layers, further compromising the structural integrity of bacterial cell walls. These various mechanisms collectively contribute to the effectiveness of antibiotics in combating bacterial infections. Beta-lactamase inhibitors function by binding to beta-lactamases and preventing these enzymes from inactivating beta-lactam antibiotics, thereby enhancing the efficacy of antibiotics. This concludes our overview of the topic. If you found this information helpful, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Your support enables us to continue creating educational content and spreading awareness about important global scientific issues. Thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for watching.